What do margins tell you about the writer? Margins are easy to spot at any time, and the beauty of it is that you can see them quite easily from a distance or from upside down or any other angle, even if they just write a couple of lines of writing. Where did they start to write? How far down from the top? How far in from the left? And if they wrote enough to spill onto a second line, how far to the right did they go before doing so? Did they start at the very top of the page? And did the first line of writing start close to the left edge of the paper? Or did they go on to the next line, leaving lots of space on the right? People who leave wide margins like their space. They don't like to feel crowded or rushed. Tip, give this person space and time to make decisions. People who write with extremely large margins, leaving what most would consider an unreasonable amount of white space around the writing, like so much space and time to themselves that they're really isolating themselves from society. Tip, there's not really much you can do here except to be patient and encouraging. And a note, Sometimes extremely wide margins are used for graphic effect, which in an invitation or something like that would not have this meaning. Narrow margins are people who are not so worried about their space. But if they generally write with practically no margins at all, it's an indication of thriftiness. Tip, expect them to be focused on making the best use of what they have and reluctant to branch out and spend or give more. Obviously, if they have for some reason to cram a lot into a small space, that will eliminate thriftiness as the reason. Now let's see what else you can tell if they write more than just a couple of lines. If your writer writes several lines or better yet, an entire page of writing, here are the other things you can also tell. Is the margin relatively straight at the left and as straight as could reasonably be at the right? If so, this person is comfortable with where they are in life. They neither cling to the past nor go charging forwards into the future. Tip, expect stability and calm assuming there are no strong traits to the contrary in the writing. In graphology, the left is the past or looking inwards, the right is the future and looking outwards. A left margin that goes narrower as it goes down the page indicates that the writer is clinging to the past in some way. They start more out there and they come more back into themselves, into the past as they go on. Tip, don't push new ideas too strongly to this writer. Be patient and do it gently. Take them one step at a time into something new. A left margin that gets wider as it goes down the page indicates that the writer is actively moving towards the future. They may be a risk taker or they may just be motivated to keep moving forwards. So they start where they are now and they go towards the future as they go down the page. Tip, this is great if you're proposing new ideas, but be careful that they're not taking unrealistic risks and the more drastic the angle of, well, the arrow here, the margin, the more drastic the angle of the margin, the more likely they are to take unrealistic risks. This one is not too bad in the example. The right margin is more difficult to gauge since it's never even, but nevertheless, you may well be able to see if it's getting wider or narrower in general as it goes down the page. A right margin that gets narrower as it goes down the page is similar to the left margin becoming wider as it goes down the page. It's someone who can't wait to get going and moving ahead. Tip, 
if it almost goes off the page, as it does in lines 8 and 9 in the example, it's someone who just can't wait and is pushing the limits to move ahead. The right margin that gets wider as it goes down the page is similar to the left margin that gets narrower as it goes down the page. It's someone who starts off accepting the future, but as they progress they find themselves clinging more and more to the past. Tip: Make the most of this writer's risks and ventures as they're likely to be short-lived. They'll probably retreat to what they know pretty fast. And lastly, margins that are all over the place indicate that this writer is not consistently either here nor there. They're liable to change direction unexpectedly. Tip. Be prepared for unforeseen actions and ideas from this writer with regard to moving ahead or staying put. So the next time you see someone writing, check out their margins. It's fun to do and can reveal surprising information about the writer. And don't forget that how you write affects your personality. So if you don't like what your margins say about you, change them and become more of who you really want to be.